Um, and just to give you a bit of background on the speech before we start, um, the speech calls uh, for you guys to be dinner guests. So you are dinner guests at an event called Dining in the Dark. Um, that goes to benefit uh, the blind uh, foundations for the blind, okay? So we've all just had a, a three-course meal and it's my job to give you the after-dinner speech, okay? If we could hit the lights, please. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and most distinguished guests at our evening here for Dining in the Dark, welcome. My name is Gaia Pelkater and I'm the organizer of this event which is going to benefit um, it's going to benefit Lighthouse of Broward, which is a center that provides um, support and help and creates independence for children and adults that are visually blind or visually impaired. And they are located here in Broward County. Do you want to come in quick? <laughs> so just to give you a little bit of background about Dining in the Dark, it was started a couple of years ago, and the intention was it was to be a dining experience, and it was to, it worked on the concept that because most of our information from the outside world comes from our vision, if we then eliminated vision, it, it highlights and accentuates all your other senses, and in particular, taste. And it was Foundation for the Blind that then brought this concept to the States and used it as a means to create awareness for blind societies around the States. And they hold this event in 10 different locations annually, and this being one of them. So welcome, everyone. And I trust this evening that you've had a unique experience. And I think to reiterate about, about the part of vision, and once that is removed, how your taste and all your other senses are accentuated. So we've spent most of the evening, and I think you would agree, it's been quite challenging because we've had to feel our way through our food. We've had to touch what was on the plate. We've had to feel what was in the cup to be able to test the level of the water. We've spilled stuff, we've dropped things. And we've basically had, our, had to use our sense of smell and taste and touch to decipher the textures and the tastes of what it is that we have in front of us on our plate. So before we move forward onto the dessert part of the evening, I'd like you to take a second to congratulate each other for having made it this far. And so with your left hand, if you could just slowly reach out to the person to your left and pat them on the back gently. Please keep it clean. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And now if you can do it to the person on your right. Oh, well done, everybody. So now we're at the dessert part of the evening, and you will have noticed I put two cups in front of you before we started. And the smaller folded cup contains four uh, dessert samples and the empty cup is for the desserts that you do not care for so feel free to dispose of them in there so what I'd like you to do now is take the one cup out of the other and when you're ready open the folded one and feel free to feel smell touch and then taste what is inside once you have done that if you can feel for the pen and the piece of paper that are on your tables and write down what you think each item was and the flavor of each item. <laughs> no cheating. <laughs> so while everyone is busy with that, I'd like to talk about tonight and the fact that we've had this very unique experience, but that once the evening is over, we will turn on the lights, our sight will be returned, and life will go back to normal. There will no longer be a challenge. But this is not the case for everyone. Actually, this evening, 39 million people around the globe 
will not be able to turn on the lights because they are completely blind. So they live in this state 24 seven and with moment by moment challenges that are presented to them every single day outside of meals. And where this may sound like a helpless or hopeless situation, it is in fact the contrary in many cases. And I'd like to relay the story to you of two particular blind people that I met recently at an event here in Fort Lauderdale. And the event was an art event held in Fat Village where you could, it was about seeing the beauty in art without your eyes. So it was an event where sculptures were draped in cloths and we were all given blindfolds and allowed to touch and feel the sculptures. And at this event, there were a number of people from Lighthouse of the Blind and two of these, one was Jose and one was Rachel. Now Jose, um, a couple of years ago, had a very, very successful career as a diplomat and an attorney. He had traveled and lived all over the world and was at the height of his success when he became suddenly blind. Now you can imagine for most people this would turn them into, you know, sink them into depression and make the whole situation extremely hopeless. But not Jose, he was a force to be reckoned with. And so after going through a period of readjusting and learning how to handle his new situation, he now has taken on a leadership role at Lighthouse of Broward. And it is his job to help mentor people who have just become blind and to help show them the ropes. And what this amazing man has done is he's taken on scuba diving and learned how to do it. He's married and sits every afternoon and helps his gorgeous eight-year-old daughter to do her homework. It's absolutely incredible and so inspiring. And it is Jose's mission to get to people who get the news and who are diagnosed as visually impaired and blind, to get to them as soon as possible, because the sooner he gets to them, the faster he can get them into a program and spare them from that period of depression and hopelessness and, and shock of what their new life is gonna be like. Of what their new life is gonna be like. Now, a second person who was at this evening was this amazing lady by the name of Rachel. Rachel was in her mid-twenties and dressed very fashionably, beautiful girl, and she walked around with a cane and these designer sunglasses at night. And what astounded me about Rachel is that in her early twenties, she became completely blind, and also very suddenly, the same way that Jose did. But again, this woman was unstoppable. And so she stood up at this evening and gave a presentation on how she too works at Lighthouse for the Blind, teaching people, blind and visually impaired people, on how to use Facebook. And she explained to us that there's an application on Facebook that's all around accessibility, where this app will basically read to you everything that's on the screen. It'll tell you who is tagged in the photos of your friends. It'll describe in basic you know, detail what is in the photos. It might say, you know, baby sitting under a tree with your friend, so and so. And not only that, but it allows them to see basically what's on Facebook and allows them to post pictures themselves. So it'll describe what's in their own pictures before you post them. And having done a little bit of research after her presentation online, I came across hundreds and hundreds really? of videos of people who are accessing this amazing app and it all of a sudden makes them feel connected and part of a community and able to participate. So it was just absolutely astounding. And so this evening, I would like to thank you for coming here this evening and for your immense contribution and your donations that will be going to Lighthouse of Broward and also to Research for the Blind so that we can stop this in its tracks and find improvements for those who live in this condition 24-7. Lights on, please, Mr. Toastmaster.